Yo, 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 what's good guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a guitar and flute sample like Wheezy. I just cooked up the sample about an hour ago and I thought it was super clean, super fire. So I figured I'd go in like I usually do and uh, break it down, show everything that I do, make it including the instruments, the MIDI, the effects, the master, all that. So hopefully you can learn something from it. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and uh, let's get right into it. As you can see, I got the final sample pulled up here. Um, we're at 143 BPM and the final sample is G sharp minor. So I'm gonna go ahead and just play the full sample so you can hear what it sounds like and then go in and break everything down. So yeah, the guitar is super clean in my opinion. Um, we got a flute, a bell, some vocals, um, accents, like a pad noise, and then a bass. So in total, seven sounds. And as usual, I have different sections playing at the beginning, and then I have all the stems afterwards sequenced out. So yeah, now I'm just gonna go through and break down everything that I did one by one. First thing that I did is I pulled in one of these midis from the Canary Jewels Onyx V2 MIDI kit. Um, I went under the guitar trap melodies. As you can see, they have a whole bunch of uh, different types of midis. They even got drum midis, kicks, hi-hats, the weights, and snares. But um, I pulled up this guitar midi called, yeah, it was um, Can't Settle, 143 BPM E minor. And so when I pulled it in, it was an E minor. So it looked like this, um, but I pitched it up to B minor and then literally the only thing that I added was this note here because with this VST it's this contact bank right here and it's the nylon guitar with the Spanish preset and with this bank there's certain notes that have instead of playing a note they have an effect on the pattern itself so the C sharp note doesn't actually play C sharp it just adds a little note bend at the end of the sample you'll hear you'll hear it when I play it so anyway I pitched it up to uh, B minor and I'll go ahead and play how the guitar sounds with no effects on it. You can hear that little slide with that note. But other than that, I didn't change the MIDI at all. The MIDI is exactly how it came um, from here. Already super fire, didn't need to do anything to it. Um, only thing I did was I added some effects. Obviously I added some reverb, I added some delay, and I added a compressor, and then I EQ'd out some harsh frequencies in the low mids and some of the highs. The next thing that I did is I rendered it out as an MP3 file, and then I brought it back in and I put it to a separate mixer track. I brought it in here as an audio file, I pitched it down three semitones. So we went from B, one, two, three, down to G sharp minor. And so this is what that sounds like with no effects. And for effects, I just added some decapitator for some distortion, just a little bit, and then I took out some of the highs, and so this is what it sounds like with that on it. And then that's it for the guitar. The next thing that I did is I added a pad, um, kind of just like an ambient pad in the background, but it wasn't actually a new sound. All I did was I took the same, I just duplicated the guitar, same exact pattern, and then I routed it to another mixer channel. And so obviously without effects, it's literally the same thing. But what I did is I added an EQ where I took out a lot of the lows and more of the highs. Then I added a lot of reverb and then I added this preset from Valhalla Ubermod um, on 100%. And so this is what it sounds like with all the effects. It kind of creates this 
It creates a pad basically with a lot of reverb just out of the same guitar sound. Yeah, it sounds super clean and then when you mix it with the original guitar, it sounds really good. Next thing that I did is I added a flute from Contact. It's just the fairy tale flute that I use a lot. I tweaked some of the knobs here and I laid down this pattern. Right here, I'll go ahead and play it with no effects on it. And then it just repeats. So what I did is I EQ'd out a lot of the highs and then I EQ'd out a lot of harsh frequencies. I added a lot of reverb and then I added Echo Boy with this preset and um, also if you don't know how to take out harsh frequencies all you have to do is open up an EQ take one of these points turn this all the way down and then turn this all the way down and then when you're playing the sound you can even look at it and see where that see how that is very you could tell that it's very uh, condensed in that area but you can take this point here and you can kind of you can do what's called a frequency sweep where you go across and you try to find the harsh frequencies and once you find it you just pull it down, take it out, and your sound will sound a lot cleaner. So anyways, that's what I did with the flute, and then I added some uh, reverb and echo boy. And so this is what it sounds like with all the effects. Next thing that I did is I added a super basic bell pattern. Um, this bell is just a one shot that I got from a base one one shot kit. Um, I added this just for variation so when the flute drops out um, I can have a different counter melody going. That's a pretty good tip for making samples in general having multiple counter melodies so that the person who's making a beat can add variation or they have the option to take one out if they don't want it or whatever. So I laid down this very basic pattern, starting at the root note and then just kind of placing notes wherever they sound good. I'll go ahead and play what it sounds like without any effects. For this I added some Wow and Flutter with Kramer Tape Stereo. I also added some Chorus with Valhalla Uber Mod. I added some Echo Boy for some delay and then a lot of reverb and I EQ'd out a lot of the lows and some of the low mids and this is what it sounds like with all the effects. After I added the bell, the sample was already starting to sound really ambient, but I wanted to add some vocals in the background. Just something really simple, so I pulled up Arcade, and I pulled up this bank, set it to G sharp minor, and then I just laid down this note right here at the end of each bar, and it just repeats. Um, that's it with no effects, and then I added this fruity vocoder. I added this preset from Finisher Micro. It just makes it go back and forth from left to right. And then I added some delay. So with the effects, it sounds like this. The next thing that I did just to kind of make the sample a little bit more unique and add some texture was I found these two accent notes from a one shot kit and um, I just added a reverb to both of them. And I kind of just put them wherever they sounded good just to add, like I said, some texture and ambience to the sample. Uh, so I'll go ahead and play what it sounds like on its own. adding little sounds like that that are way in the back. You might not even consciously hear them the first time you listen to the sample, but your brain will recognize that it's there and it'll add some depth to the sample. Um, and it just automatically makes the sample sound better on the first or even second listen. Lastly, I just added bass to the sample to fill it out like usual. It's just a one shot and it follows the root note. So it just sounds like this. and then it just repeats. So once I had all the sounds together, I have the main guitar, and then I have the pad that I made from the guitar, then I have the accents in the background, I have the flute, the first counter melody, then I have the bell counter melody, I have the vocals, to add more ambience, and then I have the bass, 
once I had all that, I just sequenced it out here with three different parts with the flute, the bell, and then with just the guitar. And then I took all the different sounds and laid out the stems. And that's how I sequence all my uh, samples. I just put different parts at the beginning and then all the stems afterwards. But yeah, that was pretty much it for the sample. Other than that, I just added this plugin called Fresh Air on the master. Uh, it just brightens up a lot of the high ends. And then I added uh, this compressor, compress the sample, and then I boosted the gain with Maximus make it louder so that's pretty much how i go about making guitar and flute samples like wheezy for somebody like gunna like i said before don't forget to subscribe leave a like on the video hopefully you learned something and i'll see you in the next video